check out my boys uh, Fion and his twin turbo G35 coupe I'm sure you've already seen some videos of it but uh, today uh, I want to actually take a closer look at it maybe we we'll go for a drive and actually see what it's like and uh, one main thing is I'm still running the stock tranny mount in my car and you know I just didn't feel like going for like a solid mount or anything at the time but uh, Fion actually told me to go for the uh, Z1 tranny mount so I figured you know what you he has it in his car I might as well just drive his G and see how it's like and see how it feels in the shifts and see if it's something I want to grab and then I'll order it. It should be a pretty easy install. Just, a, just the back of the, you know, tranny mount's gotta come down and then we put it in. So we're gonna see if that's worth it. And uh, you know, you guys get to see what it's like to ride in a twin turbo G35 coupe, which is making roughly 400 and uh, I think it's 430 wheel, if I'm not mistaken, around there. So let's go check it out. You just hit the middle of the speed bump, right? Well, I have to hit the speed bump. Up. Oh, yeah? yeah. I have to hit the speed bump right here because that's where my downpipe is. Oh. <laughs> now it's got the air ride. It's air ride flex. So you have that low end power. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to like wait for the response on the turbo and shit like I do. Yeah. Your shit moves like NA did. <laughs> like quick, like, but even quicker, I think. Are you spinning? Yeah. <laughs> How many pounds of boost are you running? Two hundred eighty thousand kilometers. Um, how long has it been boosted? How many clicks? Since uh, what? Two fifty. Two fifty. So you've been actually boosted for a little bit. Yeah, it's almost two years now. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got the Motordyne exhaust hooked up on it with the art pipes hooked up right to the ends of the turbos. So it still maintains that VQ note and sounds like the, you get that Motordyne sound on it. It's just quieter. It's just more tone, more refined sound of the Motordyne. Less rasp too. Oh yeah, Burbo map. <laughs> The, the engagement disengagement it feels easier to drive than my car <laughs> it might run anywhere it doesn't fucking matter eh This is beautiful, bro. Having that extra red line to to maintain the wheel spin, you don't you can do it without bouncing off the limiter. Like in my car, it just goes straight to limiter, right? <laughs> Having that little extra RPM, you can like float it and just get that little bit of like, oh man, it feels amazing.
Bill Motor going in this soon. It's ready waiting in his garage. What's waiting for you? Are you waiting on anything or are you just waiting for waiting? Wastegates. Wastegates, okay. Are new ones coming in or what? Yeah, so I have it just big. I might drop it over right next Yeah? Oh my god. So next week guys, it's probably gonna have a fucking brand new engine built. What is it? What's the part? What do you have in there? It's, is it just internals? Like a uh, forged internal? Yeah, forged internals. The heads are ported. You have ported heads on that one? Yeah. I don't even have ported heads on mine. <laughs> oh shit, okay. The thing I don't have is cams. Yeah, but the ported heads might make up for a little bit on the cam, like for the lack of cams. Yeah. take this car over my car. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I can't do that in my car, bro. Did you see how nice that was? Yeah, it just glides. Bro, it glides. This car is absolutely, m oh my God. I don't know how happy I'm driving this thing right now. Like, yeah, yo, it's quick. It's quick, you know, like 400 something wheel. It's quick, no doubt. I'm obviously retarded. I got used to fucking 600 night, right? So in the straight lines, like I'm not blown away, right? But bro, like the fact that you can do that, is worth to me is worth like way more man i'm telling you that is me that's me right there like that's what i used to live for bro second gear coming out of a turn and just wow 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 holding sideways a little bit like that is the absolute most fun shit about these g's and your car has it bro i wouldn't change that for anything <laughs> driving my boy Fion's uh, G35 so takeaways from it absolutely love the way the shifts feel really crisp crisp so I think I am gonna probably grab that tranny mount that he suggested um, I'm not a huge fan of his shifter it's uh, it reminds me of my my uh, short throw shifter that I used to have what is it this what is it? the short shifter I used to have torque solution short shifter and I did not like I prefer more of an OEM feel that where the gates just open and slip and let you through easily really easily inside and like suspension and uh, everything the car feels really well put together and as you can see from that slide this thing's absolutely amazing to get the ass end around and go sideways on so that's one thing i feel like my g is missing it's just like a straight drag car now and this thing has what i've been missing this whole time and it literally drives like a stock g like you let the clutch out it comes off so smoothly i would have really loved to see how this thing did, would have done against the supercharged setup I used to have. They were right around the same power. It would have been absolutely awesome to see these things go head to head against each other. We would have had a lot of fun, but this man boosted one year later and my shit fucking, my shit took a shit, you know? So, <laughs> oh, we got that now. So, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Yeah, it's on air ride. So obviously that's why it's sitting up right now. This thing's actually drives absolutely superb. Yo, show, show us the motor. So all you gotta do is a little bit of body work to take care of, you know, just the small scuffs and stuff. But other than that, this thing's wicked. And of course, yours truly. Just washed this shit yesterday. So we should be throwing the new bumper on shortly. This piece of shit's just on here for the time being. 
Uh, what I'm gonna have, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the entire car cut and polish, and then we'll slap the brand new painted bumper on. Yo, 600 wheel M35. 600 wheel, yo, big turbo, <laughs> built motor. That'll be in the next video, guys. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is the daily, the family sedan. So this is the bad boy right here. So this is what he's gonna be pushing this coming season. I don't know what possessed him to paint the the timing cover green. <laughs> Yo, you pretty much disassembled this whole thing, and put it back together yourself. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. Right in his right in his basement, he just took it all apart. So he got this motor used. So before just slapping it in, he wanted to kind of go over it one time and make sure everything's okay with it. So he took it all apart, redid everything, and put it back together. So just hop back into my G after driving Fiones and like, oh man, mine's a lot rougher. <laughs> and what I mean by that is a lot more raw, like it's a lot louder, the tranny, everything's a little bit more like harsh, you know what I mean? I'm hoping some of that can be cleaned up by the tune, but I know that part of that is due to like the fact that I have like the diff brace. I think he does that actually as well. But uh, even though he has the tranny mount, his feels a lot more like, you know, just like tighter. So let's see if we can get mine to be, you know, something a little bit closer to his in the long run. I'll definitely do a little bit more to make sure that happens. He definitely has a lot more meteor torque in the uh, 2500 to 3K, 3500 max range. That's where his car kind of feels a little bit more peppy. You know, it pulls up boost, gets moving a little bit quicker. My shit takes a little bit more. It uh, definitely comes into its own around like 4K. Four, uh, 3500 plus is when my shit just starts hitting really hard. That's what I notice at least. Like, you know, when third gear, dig down here, there's nothing. It's not much happening, not much happening. And then like, like then it starts moving at like 3700 plus. And when it starts moving, it starts moving fucking hard. Oh God, these belts, man. I don't know, like I tighten them twice now, they're still squealing. I hope it's not like the alternator pulley or something that's causing the squealing. I guess we're gonna have to take a look at it, but uh, that's some of the shit you just gotta deal with, right? So right now we're headed to my boy Dill's house. Uh, just gonna take a look at the progress on his build, see how he's doing, and uh, check you guys in a second.